The Italian .308 battle rifle we are exploring today has its roots in the aftermath of World War II. Italy, like many European countries, was left devastated by the war and in need of rebuilding. In the years following the war, Italy found itself in the midst of political and social turmoil, as the country struggled to recover and rebuild. It was during this time that the Italian military was in need of a new battle rifle to replace the outdated bolt-action rifles that had been used during the war. The decision was made to adopt a semi-automatic rifle, and in 1957, the Beretta BM-59 was officially adopted as the standard-issue rifle for the Italian military. The BM-59 was based on the M1 Garand, a rifle that had been used by the US military during World War II. The BM-59 was chambered in .308, a powerful round that provided soldiers with increased firepower and range compared to the previous bolt-action rifles. This new rifle allowed Italian soldiers to engage targets at longer distances and provide suppressive fire in combat situations. The adoption of the BM-59 marked a significant advancement in the capabilities of the Italian military, as they were now equipped with a modern, semi-automatic battle rifle. As we look at these old photographs, we are transported back to a time when the BM-59 was a symbol of Italian military strength and modernization. The soldiers in the photos are seen training with their rifles, learning how to effectively operate and maintain them. The photos capture the determination and dedication of these soldiers as they prepared to defend their country and uphold its values. The adoption of the BM-59 also had a significant impact on the Italian arms industry. The rifle was not only used by the military, but also found its way into the hands of civilians and law enforcement agencies. Its design and performance made it a popular choice for those in need of a reliable and powerful firearm. The era in which these photos were taken was a time of transition and rebuilding for Italy. The country was rebuilding its infrastructure, economy, and military capabilities in the aftermath of World War II. The adoption of the BM-59 symbolized Italy's commitment to modernization and its determination to move forward from the devastation of the war. As we reflect on these old photographs, we are reminded of the resilience and strength of the Italian people during this challenging period in their history. The BM-59 served as a symbol of progress and modernization, and its impact on the Italian military and society was profound. These photos capture a significant chapter in Italian history and the role that the BM-59 played in shaping the country's future. The M1 Garand, the world's first standard-issue self-loading rifle, was a key player in World War II and the Cold War. However, its limitations in capacity, size, and weight prompted the United States to develop a new rifle and a new round. This led to the creation of the M14 rifle and the 7.62x51mm NATO-.308 round. As part of NATO, Italy faced the challenge of developing small arms chambered for the 7.62mm round. With large stockpiles of M1 Garand rifles, Italy decided to adapt the existing design to the new round, as well as incorporating a detachable magazine and other modern features. The result was the BM-59, a modern, select-fire battle rifle designed for battlefield use. While the M14 struggled with extreme recoil when used as a full-auto firearm, the Italians developed an effective tricompensator to tame muzzle rise and make the BM-59 usable in full-auto mode. This innovative solution set the BM-59 apart from its American counterpart and showcased Italy's commitment to adapting to the changing needs of modern warfare. For a more detailed history of the BM-59, readers can explore Francisco Jardim's sibling rivalry. The Italian BM-59 This comprehensive account delves deeper into the development and impact of the BM-59, shedding light on its unique place in the history of firearms. The story of the BM-59 reflects the evolution of military technology and the collaborative efforts of NATO member countries to meet the demands of a changing battlefield. It serves as a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of the Italian firearms industry, 
and the BM-59's legacy continues to resonate with enthusiasts and historians alike. As we explore the historical context of the BM-59 and its significance in the arms race of the 20th century, we gain a deeper understanding of the challenges and innovations that have shaped modern warfare. The BM-59 stands as a symbol of progress and adaptation, embodying the spirit of resilience and creativity that continues to drive advancements in military technology. The 1980s were a time of innovation and advancement in the firearms industry, and one such example of this was the development of the full-auto BM-59 by Springfield Armory in Geneseo, Illinois. This Italian battle rifle was designed to be an affordable alternative to the M14, offering controllable full-auto firepower in .308. The goal was to create a rifle that could be effectively used in full-auto mode without sacrificing accuracy and control. Recently, we had the opportunity to get our hands on a sample of the full-auto BM-59, which was produced with original Italian parts. The rifle is stamped with Beretta markings on the receiver, and Springfield Armory markings on the side, showcasing the collaboration between Italian and American manufacturers. This particular rifle is a transferable machine gun, meaning that civilians in the United States have the opportunity to own and appreciate this piece of history. With an estimated value in the range of $14,000 to $16,000, it is truly a collector's item. We were fortunate enough to borrow this rare firearm from Midwest Tactical, the nation's largest volume machine gun dealer, and took it out to the range to put it to the test. Our goal was to see if the BM-59 truly lived up to its reputation of being controllable in full auto mode, despite firing .308 rounds. The recoil was certainly impressive, but with careful control and bursts, we were able to keep all our shots on target. The rifle ran smoothly and proved to be a testament to the engineering and design behind it. It's truly remarkable that a rifle weighing around 10 pounds and firing .308 rounds can be effectively utilized in full auto mode, demonstrating the advancements made in firearms technology during this era. The BM-59 stands as a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of the Italian and American firearms industry, and its legacy lives on as a highly sought-after collector's item. The history and significance of the full-auto BM-59 serve as a reminder of the advancements made in firearms technology during the 1980s. Its development and production reflect a period of innovation and collaboration between international manufacturers, resulting in a firearm that continues to be admired and appreciated by enthusiasts and collectors. As we look back on this era, we can appreciate the impact and influence of the BM-59, and the role it played in shaping the firearms industry.